Psalm 68. God is already beginning to arise and his enemies to scatter. Let them also who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish before the presence of God. But let the uncompromisingly righteous be glad. Let them be in high spirits and glory before God. Yes, let them rejoice. up a highway before him who rides through the deserts his name is the Lord be in high spirits and glory before him the father of the father and a judge and protector of the widows is God. In his holy habitation, God places the solitary in families and gives the desolate a home in which to dwell. He leads the prisoners out to prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a parched land. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, Selah, pause and calmly think of that. The earth trembled. The heavens also poured down rain at the presence of God. Yonder Sinai quaked at the presence of God. The God of Israel. God did send a plentiful rain. You did restore and confirm your heritage when it languished and was weary. Your flock found a dwelling place in it. You, O oh God, in your goodness did provide for the poor and needy. The Lord gives the word of power. The women who bear and publish the news are a great host. The kings of the enemy's armies, they flee. She who tarries at home divides the spoil left behind. Though you, the slackers, may lie among the sheepholds in slothful ease, yet for Israel, the wings of a dove are covered with silver. Its pinions excessively green with gold are trophies taken from the enemy.
Is Mount Bashan the high mountain of summits? Mount Bashan, east of the Jordan, the Mount of God? Why do you look with grudging and envy, you many peaked mountains, at the mountain of the city called Zion, which God has desired for his dwelling place? Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands upon thousands. The Lord is among them. As he was in Sinai, so also in the holy place, the sanctuary in Jerusalem. have ascended on high you led away captive a train of vanquished foes you have received gifts of men yes of the rebellious also that the Lord God might dwell there with them blessed be the Lord who bears our burdens and carries us day by day, even the God who is our salvation. Selah. Pause and calmly think of that. God is to us a God of deliverances and salvation. And to God the Lord belongs escape from death, setting us free. shatter the heads of his enemies, the hairy scalp of such, a one as goes on still in his trespasses and guilty ways. The Lord said, I will bring back your enemies. From Basha, I will bring them back from the depths of the Red Sea. You may crush them, dipping your foot in blood, that the tongues of your dogs may have their share from the foe. They see your goings, O oh God. Even the solemn processions of my God, my King, the sanctuary in holiness. Singers go in front. The players on instruments last. Between them, the maidens are playing on tambourines. Let's give thanks and gratefully pray. Session. The princes of Judah and their company, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali.
God has commanded your strength, your might in his service and impenetrable hardness to temptation. Oh God, display your might and strengthen what you have wrought in us. Out of respect for your temple at Jerusalem, King shall bring gifts to you. Rebuke the wild beast dwelling among the reeds in Egypt, the herd of bulls, the leaders, with the calves of the people. Trample underfoot those who, who lust for tribute money. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall hasten to stretch out her hand with the offerings of submission to God.
awe-inspiring, profoundly impressive and terrible are you out of your holy places. The God of Israel himself gives strength and fullness of might to his people. Blessed be 